So, my grandfather, I, I, I was at church today, right? And he was preaching a message. And the, the name of the sermon was Soon, Very Soon. And it has to do with Jesus' second coming. And it was a it was a very great sermon. And I'm I'm making this video because I was inspired by that. And the reason I'm making this video is I wanna I want everyone under the sound of my voice to answer this question. Rather be in the comments or you know what you can comment if you want, but I want you to I want you to ask y'all this. Christians and non Christians, are you ready to meet Jesus? Are you ready? Are you ready to be taken up by the rapture? Are you really? Are you ready to stand before Jesus? That's those. Are, that's my question. Are you ready to meet him? Are you ready for his coming? Because let me tell y'all something. It doesn't matter what the atheists do. It doesn't matter if Trump is or Kamala is president. It doesn't matter what the world tries to do. It doesn't matter. Whether the world is going going backwards, even though we live in a, in a fair first world, and it doesn't matter what Israel tries to tries to do, they may try to block the way that Jesus is gonna come. And worlds, wars, rumors, famine make make a team in this world, and the world make it worse. Heck, even atheist agnost agnostics will try will try to push back Christianity will try to get people on their side and it doesn't matter if DeSantis tries to take take away Christianity from from Florida or heck from the nation it don't matter it doesn't matter what the world tries to do it doesn't even matter what the enemy tries to tries to do because I'm pretty sure because what I can see what I can see According to what the Holy, according to how when God lifted the, the veil, and what God is allowing me to see through discernment and through and through the spiritual goggles, what I can see, it's amazing. It's amazing how the enemy is still trying. He's still trying to blind people to the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's amazing. He's trying to fight against God, even the first time he lost. Yet he's still trying. And that's that's really that's really pathetic. And it's it's amazing how how the, the USA is trying to get rid of God, get get God out of the equation. Yet this country may have been built based off Freemasonry or whatever, but this country was built based on Christian values. And that and no matter and you know no matter what 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 the what the government tries to do and no matter what governors try to do no matter no matter what it doesn't change the fact that this country the U united states of america was built off, based off of christian values values i'm not going a little bit off topic here but it does not change the fact that jesus is is coming back he is coming back and the thing is that the problem problem is with with the world is that they believe in the Jesus, this hippie Jesus that lets them do whatever whatever they want. That's the type of Jesus they believe. They don't believe the Jesus of the Bible. And even and even some even some Christians believe in this in this hippie, fem, feminine nice Jesus. Yet they don't believe in the Jesus of the Bible. And the reason to believe. They believe in the hippie Jesus is because they probably don't even read their Bibles. They don't even they don't even take time out of their day to read the Word of God. And and they, heck, there's Christians who don't even have a personal relationship with God, and they're out here and they're out here calling themselves a Christian. I mean, not trying to condemn y'all in any way, but it is what it is. And. The question still remains, are you ready to meet Jesus? Because when you when Jesus comes back, it's gonna be the least you expected 
it's gonna be sudden and if you've been out if you've been out here living a simple lifestyle yet you call yourself a Christian and when Jesus comes back he's not he's not gonna, he's not gonna take you he's gonna you're gonna hear this word just depart from me I know you're not nothing nothing changes changes the fact that Jesus is coming soon he's coming back and he's not coming back with peace he's coming back with a sword He's coming back to devour, devour wickedness, to cure the wrath of the wrath of the heavenly Father. To the, that's why he's called the Lion Judah. He's coming back to devour, to devour the wicked, to destroy the wicked, to destroy, to destroy sin and to break the curse of sin. To wipe, to wipe it from this earth. And that's why it's so important. We need to have faith in Jesus Christ. Because when Jesus comes back, and you say you you tell him you're a Christian, you may say, you may beg him, please spare us. Yet you're living a civil lifestyle. He's not gonna, he's not gonna see, see see your good works. He's not gonna see how good you good you good you are. He's only gonna see your your sinfulness. He's gonna only see your wickedness. You're gonna he's gonna see you part of it, and boom, he's gonna he's gonna wipe it out when he comes back and if you haven't truly placed your faith in Jesus and if he comes back he's, you're not going to go in the rapture like I don't know how else to tell you and Jesus is coming back to bring to bring justice justice to the world to liberate liberate the children of God that's what he's coming back to do, and you're one, and y'all, and y'all might be a asking the question, asking me, how can I be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ? Well, first of all, especially for you not Christians watching this, you need to hear the hear the gospel first. You need to hear the gospel of Jesus Christ, and from there. It's up to you if you want to believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ or not. And if you believe believe in the gospel of Jesus Christ, it, that means you place your faith and trust in Jesus. And you receive the Holy Spirit. And you're sealed to the day of redemption and you see the blood of Jesus. And the wrath of God no longer abides upon you, but you're reconciled unto God. And you have peace with God, the Heavenly Father. That's one thing. And also, you must you must walk in, not only do you need to have faith, but you also need to walk in, in obedience to God also. And also, to to make sure you, you, you are walking, you're walking with God and fulfilling not the desires of the flesh, you're not walking in the ways of the world, you need to, you need to read the word of God. You need to read, read this. This is this is like this is this Bible. The Bible is is, a, is like a lamp for us Christians. It is because it allows God to speak speak into our lives, and it allows God to minister to us, and it allows God to change us, change the way we think, change our thought patterns, and change how we see the world, and also to know God personally as well. But to sum, sum, to summarize summarize all that, you need to have a personal relationship with God if you want to be prepared for the second coming of Jesus Christ. And you must continue continue to grow in your relationship with Him and continue to walk in the ways and allow not the enemy to drift you away from from God. But you you're to stand firm in your faith in Jesus Christ. Those that's that's why that's why those that's that's the solution, but also is that's the solution which is inspired by God. Those those are the ways you can be prepared for the for the second coming of Jesus Christ. And uh, sub 
it's up to you if you don't want to believe what I say. It's up to you if you continue to choose to not listen listen to me or listen heck listen listen to what other believers Christians say even even Israel didn't even Israel God chose his nation they even they even, even listen to listen to the prophets back in their days and guess what they killed them and they had to suffer the consequence for that but even though if you don't listen to me it doesn't change the fact that Jesus is coming back and it is a warning that you need to pick. You need to choose to choose who, whose side you're on. You're, you're on the world side, the devil side, or you're on Jesus side. There's only be, you can't be in between. It's either 100 percent or it's zero percent. You're in or out with God. You're either an enemy of God or a friend of God. I I choose to be a friend of God. I don't, I don't care what other people say because I remember what God's done for me and that's why I follow him that's why I do what I do the question is which side, which side you're going to pick I pick the winning side anyway if you don't see me I do pray that you do give your life to Jesus and that you prepare yourself for the second coming of Jesus Christ because he is coming soon and I can't wait. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And leave any comments if you have any questions or concerns. And until then, don't be delicious. Follow Christ.